Hi, my name is George, and if you've ever tied a hydraulic cylinder to a tree and tried yanking it apart with a vehicle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to show you how I built a simple hydraulic puller after about the fifth of 14 cylinders that I had to take apart. For this project, I used an I-beam, a winch, a piece of steel plate, and a piece of inch and a quarter round stock steel. First, I cut the round stock until it was about eight inches taller than the I-beam that I had. Next, I prepped everything for welding. The round stock was welded onto one end of the I-beam. Next, I cut the seal plate to make a base for the winch. The plate was welded onto the opposite end of the I-beam than the round stock. Then I drilled the mounting holes for the winch and the plate. Here I'm wiring up my winch and getting it ready to connect to the battery. This is where things get interesting. So I took a piece of that same size I-beam that I used and put it under the gland nut at a 90 degree to the original I-beam. I did this because when you're taking off the gland nut, you can actually torque against that I-beam and use it as leverage. Now when you're putting your cylinder back together, all you have to do is move this small piece of I-beam to the other side and you're still torquing against that larger I-beam section. I thought the safest thing to do to connect this winch to the hydraulic cylinder was just to tie a piece of rope in a square knot and it seemed to work pretty good. That face right there means no more tug of wars between my Jeep and a tree. Now as I'm taking off the piston nut, you'll notice that the breaker bar is on the proper side to get the most torque out of this setup. From here, removing the piston and the gland are fairly straightforward. If you want to see how I replace the packing and the seals on these, please click on this link. And remember, always check your smoke detectors because they do save lives.